Welcome back to the class of Jewelry Design with Procreate. In this class, I will introduce a few brushes that we'll be using regularly. If you are using other software instead of Procreate, you can find brushes with similar features. The first brush is Technical Pen. It's in the inking category. You may change the brush size and opacity from the sidebar. What I like about this brush is that it can draw really thin lines, perfect for outline of jewelry or paint those tiny details like crowns or tiny beads. Also, it is pressure sensitive, which means you can thicken or taper a line by putting more or less pressure with your Apple Pencil. By controlling the pressure we apply with our hand, go light first and gradually press it hard, and then gently close it at the end. Only one stroke for a quarter moon shape. It will be really helpful when it comes to dealing with delicate metal bead. The second one is brush pen, and it's under calligraphy. Queen's opacity is set at 100%. It's still semi-transparent. When you overlap the strokes, the color gets darker. Brush pen is also pressure sensitive. Its thickness and color intensity also changes on pressure we apply to the screen. This brush is not absolutely necessary and can often be replaced by technical pen. However, if we want to draw a reflection of light on a large gemstone, then technical pen stroke will not be thick enough. So I will use the brush instead. Next one is the gel pen. It's also under inking. I mainly use it for drawing dots when it comes to jewelry settings. It's very handy. Brush number four is airbrush. There are so many different kinds of airbrushes under this category. I will use medium airbrush. The color and intensity also changes with the force of our hand. The last one is the flare brush from Luminance. We can use it to highlight gemstones and make them look brighter. I like to use it as the final touch for decoration. Great for expressing brilliance. These five brushes are the brushes that we will use repeatedly in this course. It's not that these are the only options we have when painting jewelry, but they are a good starts for meeting our needs, and that creates great results. Once you are familiar with the whole painting process and the techniques, trying out different brushes to create your own style is a lot of fun. Here is a tip for creating your own brush category, which I highly recommend because it saves time from finding the brush you need while you are focusing on drawing. First, let's extend brush library and tap to slide down the left panel. A plus mark will be shown on top. Tap it to create a new category and then tap the new category to rename it. We may also drag it to wherever we want. Then we drag brushes that we will be using in the course into the new category. This action is actually copying them from the original category. It is not relocating them. You can still find these brushes in the default categories. Here's the category that fits our needs for this course. For copied brushes or brushes that are imported to Procreate, there will be a Procreate symbol on the top right corner. You won't see this symbol on built-in brushes. Introduction of brushes in this video Get us all set for officially stepping into the world of jewelry drawing. We will focus on how to draw professional and beautiful jewelry from the next class. If you are ready, let's get started and have more fun. If you like this video or you want to learn more about jewelry design and rendering, please subscribe my channel and turn on notification.